The Newfoundland dog is one of the largest breeds on the planet, but what's their temperament really like? Well, let's take a look. Welcome back to the Femre Newfoundland Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the Newfoundland. So if you love the new fee as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Newfoundland video. So then, in general, the Newfoundland is a sweet and loving dog. Like all breeds, however, their puppyhood and adolescence may prove less pleasant for you, mainly because of their size and strength. It's not likely that a Newfoundland purposely destroys anything or knocks your kids over just by wagging its tail, but these things are known to happen. For this reason, it's extremely important that you start socialising and training him at an early age to keep the worst puppy or adolescent outbursts in control as they get older. Now, the Newfoundland is considered by many as one of the most empathetic dog breeds on the planet. No wonder, considering what they were bred for. Their whole purpose is working with people, and in many cases, rescuing people from a terrible fate in brutal water conditions. With generation after generation of Newfoundland dogs working to rescue drowning people in icy cold seas, they have developed a strong sense of humans in distress. While the Newfoundland can be trained quite easily, you should remember that even with their close work with people, they did most of the work on their own in the water. Therefore, they are quite independent and like to make decisions on their own on what to do and when to do it. They don't mean any harm by it, they just like to decide for themselves if they feel like doing what you ask at that specific moment in time is what they would consider the right thing to do as well. Like many larger breeds, the Newfoundland is a calm and relaxed dog. He doesn't need that much physical exercise, but be aware that he'll know from a distance if there's water anywhere close by, and he will do whatever he can to get there as soon as possible. So prepare yourself to be pulled along for a fast run and perhaps an unplanned bath if you don't train them properly. So then, because of their history with working so closely with people we just talked about, the Newfoundland is a very friendly and gentle breed. They love and adore their own family and will be loyal until the end. A Newfoundland should never be aggressive, but they will protect those that they love. In this, they are quite sovereign. Their size, stature and energy will make most people stay put or bother from trying anything bad in the first place. You may not think of the Newfoundland as a working dog due to his size, his calm and gentle temperament, but he can be useful in more areas than water, and he absolutely does love to work, and his work ethic is quite specific. While other working dogs may work for you, the Newfoundland works with you. You two are a team, and they know it, so be prepared to change your entire method of teaching him anything, since he may have a completely different opinion on the matter than you do. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Femre Canine Training Channel that is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. Being the calm and sometimes lazy dog that he is, he may also very well have opinions on the quality of your work. He may sit calmly in your garden watching you do your chores and it'll be more than obvious how he feels about your performance. Oh, and don't worry, he'll judge you if you don't reach his expectations no matter what it is that you're doing. The whole concept of this is called newfervising and is quite known in the Newfoundland dog world. The Newfoundland dog is said to be the giant nanny of the dog world, and this is usually true. However, it must be remembered that whichever breed you have, how he turns out is totally up to you. With each dog, no matter which breed or mixed breed you get, an individual with one or more breed traits in him, and that's what you've got to work with. Now, while the Newfoundland may be prone to being an amazing giant nanny than, say, a Jack Russell, it's still up to you to teach him manners around people, and in particular children. Just because they are more likely to be that way doesn't mean that you're allowed to slack off on any form of training. 
So then, I hope you enjoyed that kind of delve into the wonderful mindset of the glorious Newfoundland, one of my favourite dog breeds in the world. And as someone that specialises in large, powerful breeds, it's the breed that I recommend probably more than any other breed, especially to more novice owners that want to get into the world of these giant breeds. And oftentimes, they then never go back. They are just wonderful canine companions. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you're new here, as we've got two new Newfoundland videos coming to this channel every single week and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrear Newfoundland Show.